Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about gun stocks. Now, of course, we've had a couple of inquiries about can you do these in one dip? And so we thought we'd shoot a quick little video, show you guys a few tips and techniques to hopefully perfect your single dip on a stock that is very similar to this. So let's get started. All right, so we've got our film already laid out. Now the film isn't normally going to make that much of an issue unless it's gonna be a very directional pattern like a carbon fiber, then that might be a little bit more of an issue but with a camouflage like this you can really get by with a roll on a gun stock now a couple of things to of course point out we want to make sure that we have plenty of room all the way around we're going to roll that over and so now we're going to put our tape line somewhere in here now once we have this right here there's a couple of things to remember if you're going to try to roll this now the first thing is, is that you're going to need more material than what you actually need. And what I mean by that is that as you're dipping this, if you have a divider right here and you put a divider right there, in most cases that should work. But because you're gonna be holding it like this right here, you actually need to give yourself more room than what's necessary to be able to roll the item into the film and of course have your hands at a easier state to hold that part in. So then that way as you're rolling it, everything works really well and it's a lot more smoother and fluid motion. So in this case right here, we can still keep it at about like this, but we now, instead of putting it right here to cut, we may go ahead and cut it way over here. Now again, you can adjust this as you get more and more used to the rolls and how much material you actually need, but in this case, we're going to make sure that we have plenty of room and give ourselves one big sheet just like that. So a couple of things to look at whenever you're doing a single dip and you're gonna be using the rolling technique. Uh, of course, this one right here, you can see that we do not have a very low cut in this right here, which is gonna be really great. Ones that do cut a lot lower may not be the best for the rolling technique and may need to be dipped straight down. But again, that's gonna be in another video. So for this video, we're gonna be doing the rolling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at an angle like this and we're going to pull pull it down into the water halfway. And so what that's going to do is that's going to allow the film to start right here. And then as we roll it down into the water, it's going to allow that air to escape out. So you do not want to go straight down into the water because you can definitely trap a lot of air as you're going down. And then of course, the next thing is, is once you go down with it, then we're going to want to take our leading hand here and then move it over the next 180 degrees. And so a couple of things you wanna make sure of is, is that whenever you're doing this in the water that you stop right around this line, this molding line that's already on this part. And so by stopping right there, you create a line right here. And so now that we're halfway in, we have our line right here and we have our line right here. Now, as we go to roll it over like this, this line right here, will of course come over. And then once we get to about this point right here, we just wanna just slowly just kind of push it down into the water. Now again, you can continue the roll, but in this case, we're gonna just hold it like that and then just push it down in. And then what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the film to roll all the way around the stock itself. And then that line that we created right here, as it's coming over, it's going to go up to the line and of course stop and that's gonna be it. Now, of course, any extra that we have over here, it's gonna get rinsed off in the rinse station and not a big deal at all, but we should have a really good dip with little to no stretch, as well as whenever we're looking at this, there's only gonna be one line on the bottom of the stock and that's what we want. So then that way, whenever the customer is looking at the top of this stock right here, there is no line that they're gonna be able to see, which is going to be a lot better. Now, again, this is going to be a very great example of that, but different ways that the stock looks or is made might affect the way that it can be rolled. So you definitely wanna make sure that you play around with that beforehand to make sure that the look is going to be the way that you want it. So let's go ahead, let's get the film in the water and show you guys what we're gonna be doing. As we're starting out, you can see I've got a little bit of an angle going down 
and then you can see that I'm starting to make the line at the very bottom. Now I'm going really slow on this to make sure that I get everything set in and then I'm starting the roll. Now I'm rolling away from me and as you can see right around in here it actually started to slip out of my finger and roll in but we were still able to save the dip and make it come out looking really great. So we'll move the film away from the part and now you can clearly see how everything came out and you can see we've got a really great image all the way around both sides. We've got the one seam there on the bottom and we've got little to no stretch all the way around the entire stock. Now again, this is not rinsed, but you can clearly see we've got excellent coverage all the way around and we do have that line going all the way down there. Once we get everything rinsed off, everything will look a lot better and we'll get all of this excess off. We'll do any necessary touch-ups that are needed to be done and then we will clear coat it and the customer will enjoy a brand new dip stock. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related, as well as if you feel like we've missed anything or you've got anything else to add to the video, we'd always love to hear those comments as well. If you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related. Also, definitely check out the website. The website has everything that you're gonna need for the water transfer printing, including tanks, training, film, of course, any of the products that you see right here. It is all there on the website and the links are in the description below. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.